Hey, I'm Peyton List. Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob Bertrand. Hey, I'm Mary. And I'm Sholem Adithwenya, and you're watching Hollywire. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Oh, did you know it's hanging out? How excited are you guys for season three? I watched the trailer two days ago it was released and I, people are going literally like frantic about it. This is like so cool. I mean, I was, I, I knew like after, you know, when seasons one and two dropped on Netflix and everybody's response, I was like, all right, this trailer is like, everybody's gonna like this trailer. Like there's no way if you didn't like Cobra Kai, there's no way that you're gonna dislike this trailer. Like it's awesome. And uh, I've, I, the response has been so cool to see. I gotta say it's, I like it more than the previous two seasons. Um, uh, I go through a lot of changes. Uh, you get to see a lot of Eli and a lot of Hawk throughout um, this season. And one cool thing about uh, this season, you're just, you're seeing Hawk uh, kind of stumble through where he belongs in this new Cobra Kai that's led by Kreese. Peyton, like I grew up, my sister and I grew up watching you. And so it's amazing to watch you play such a different role. Um, so I kind of wanted to talk to you about that and like how you feel about playing like the ultimate like bad girl. I love it. I'm really grateful that John, Josh, and Hayden saw that in me that I could that I could play Tori and take on that role. They were saying I, I talked to them about it. I was asking them what they thought because you know a lot of people they hope they kind of box you in as something, especially when you come from Disney. And they said, oh no, we were ha gonna have fun taking this Disney princess and turning her into what Tori is. Um, so that's been one of the best things for me. Season ended with a little drama. We don't know how it's gonna play out in season three. Like, how are you feeling for your character? Um, and are you excited for the fans to see them? To see how it plays out? Yeah, you know, I, I think uh, uh, I was a little uh, nervous going into season two because I knew what was gonna happen at the end, you know? I was like, damn, you know? And, and I guess, you know, what, really i guess provided me some sense of relief was like all right well our next season is going to be coming out soon like event like the next season will come out in less than a year and then it was like all right a year passed and then it was like a year and a few months and then now it feels like you know it's been so long since we revisited these characters that it's going to be interesting seeing how people react to this story that really kicks off right after the events of, of season two right on. Yeah, I mean, I think it's super exciting. And are, are there any new, like, moves that you guys learned for season three? <laughs> I, I learned how to do a wheelie on a, on a, on a, a wheelchair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, unfortunately, I wasn't able to to do uh, like I don't know. I, I really wanted to do a backflip, but I, I wasn't able to do that. So, so for right now, I'm sticking to the, uh, you know, to the to the hospital bed. But I'm yeah. sure as soon as as soon as I get out, I'll be uh, back to learning how to walk. Um, we got to see a little sample of something in the trailer too, uh, where Samantha gets to play with the bow staff. I say play with, uh, but obviously it's a it's a weapon. It's a legit weapon and she gets to experiment with the bow staff. And I was so excited to take that on and so excited to show that off. So I'm, I'm really, really pumped to hear what people think when they see the whole entirety of that piece. That's super exciting. I, I cannot wait. It seems like it's gonna be an amazing season. Thank you so much and keep it on fire for next time. Bye.